today, on this Indian summer day, I'm thinking of Antarctica, the expedition, 1914, the wooden ship Endurance, ice locked, askew, crushed, just a moment before the picture was taken. Shackleton's men over unchartered souls scouring immensity. And how by 1916, the whole notion had taken on the romantic appeal akin to hieroglyphics on the Champs at Isin. Ladies clenching their fur of their overcoats. Not the thought, the outlandish thought. The back of the hand to the actress's cheek. The other arm out at a geometric angle, aghast, as can be appreciated in the dead pan eyes. The roar of the grease paint, the smell of the crowd, festering ever so slightly. Gentlemen, all pump in cummerbunds and tails, at the premiere of Dagliev's Russian Ballet at the Liceo Opera House, Barcelona, 1916. A Nijinsky fawn awakening to chords of sati. Primitive prowess. Earthly tug beneath those tights to inquisitive spotlights and how great-great-grandchildren interpreted all this and more. Saturday night, so close to the very shore of timelessness. The tick-tock of a metronome that no one ever stopped. The infinitesimally young, freshly ground mint. The rum. The undissolved sugar in our mojitos. Our ice crunching jaws. Today, on this Indian summer day, you could throw global warming in, but the truth is, tomorrow, I will be 45 years old, and I won't be dancing very much. But what the hell? <laughs>